Good morning, y'all. What's up? Satnam. Another beautiful day here in Newton, Massachusetts. Um, I felt to share with you this morning, and um, I wanted to talk about something a little bit different than uh, the video I shared with you last week, which was um, primarily about control and this idea of I'm not good enough. Um, this is kind of connected or, um, you know, it, it ties in with it really nicely. And that's the idea of giving and receiving. Um, when we think about giving and receiving, um, you know, perhaps different images or feelings or emotions come to mind. Um, when I think about giving um, or receiving, I think about Christmas time in, in this country that, you know, it's a time when people tend to give and receive a lot. And so that's the, the mental image picture that comes up is like this gift giving. And, um, and that's really what giving is. It's about um, offering a gift, a gift of service. Um, and whether that that gift is in a physical form or it's an actual, um, uh, just an act of generosity. Um, the concept of giving, I think, gets very um, entangled with our um, emotional well-being, if you will, um, and and also the, the well-being of the relationship between the giver and the receiver. Um, what, what I've experienced in my own life, I always like to share my own experiences because they're relevant and I don't want to go and, you know, assume what other people are doing or, you know, look at what other people are doing really even because it's not relevant. Um, so I can share with you my own experience and um, in a great example of a non-healthy giver-receiver relationship is one that involves expectation. Whenever there's an expectation, um, whether it be on the giver or the receiver, that it's no longer giving and receiving. Um, on the giver's end, if they're doing um, something for someone and there's an expectation that they um, will get something in return or that they're actually doing it so that they can get something in return, that's not giving. That's not um, a gift. That is being a martyr and, you know, the easiest way to put it. Um, and when you're receiving and you're not actually you're not actually receiving the gift that someone is giving you. You're feeling a sense of entitlement that you deserve what it is that that person is giving you because you've done X, Y, and Z. Um, you know, I walked the dog and took out the garbage and cleaned the kitchen. And so, you know, just because that person is cooking me a meal, you know, I so what? They're doing it because they, they better be doing it because I did all this other stuff for them. So that's not being a receiver. And that's being an entitled person who expects that that person should be giving them something. So again, those are unhealthy um, examples of a giver and a receiver. Now, a healthy... Um, giving and receiving relationship, and, th and this is very common in marriages and in long-term relationships, um, because we get, um, we tend to get, um, you know, we get into our patterns with our significant other, and it tends to cause a lot of uh, tension and uh, angst, um, which, which is just not healthy. And essentially, then we're we're giving and receiving from from that place of um, our wounding, and when we give or receive from that place, it's it's bound to trip us up. 
Um, so what, you know, again, healthy um, giver, receiver relationship roles looks like is a person doing something for someone out of the kindness of their heart and expecting absolutely nothing in return and not like, you know, taking a note of it and counting it and then, you know, just waiting for that opportunity to bring it up later and say, well, I did this and I did that and blah, 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 blah. And no, that's not giving. That's actually kind of just holding something over someone else's head so that you can get your way. Um, so when you give, try and really give from your heart. If you're going to have some kind of an expectation, tell the person. Say, you know, I'm willing to do this for you, but I would expect that in return. Be clear. Speak your voice because they'll be a lot less tension and, you know, these arguments that come up later on. And as a receiver, really try and... This was one that was challenging for me and I was blessed to have a um, intimacy uh, workshop that I attended kind of really clarify this for me. Um, and I would really encourage if you're... Um, in a relationship and, and you start to see this pattern to seek out some help um, because it could be a really simple fix um, but we, we as human beings tend to really really get caught in these patterns and they can go on for ever it feels like you know for decades so give yourself the gift of you know softening and and inviting your partner to to go and work work some of this stuff out so you guys can just enjoy each other's time and company um again what 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 i wanted to share about being a healthy receiver it's such a beautiful thing to be able to receive um to give you one example of one of the um people that was in the workshop um, this gentleman was receiving some massage and after just, you know, a few seconds or maybe a moment of being massaged by another person who was not his partner, he started to feel guilty and say, you know, I'm not worthy of this to himself and, you know, I should probably ask them to stop. Perhaps they're tired or, you know, um, you know, they've got better things they could be doing. And no, we were in a workshop for intimacy and that, that's actually what they were supposed to be doing. <laughs> and so it's like, but, but just think about if, if you've had that, that thought process before, you know, feeling guilty about receiving or um, like blocking yourself from receiving in so many ways that we do that. We kind of just, you know, tying back into the video, I, you know, um, the talk I gave last week about doing, 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 doing. And, you know, it, it, it was a way that I blocked myself from being able to receive. I thought only I can give myself, you know, with the exception of sex, um, the things that I, that I needed. And so it was a really unhealthy pattern that I was acting out. Um, so I would, I would encourage you to really try and sink into what it feels like to receive and it's it's really a beautiful feeling to just surrender and allow someone else to give you a gift like a massage i mean it's just such a beautiful gift not a massage that you have to pay for because you know we can all do that um and but but like if if it's your partner for example to allow them to massage you and ask for what you need um you know share with that person i can really use a massage today are you are you able to do that for me and um and you know exchange massages perhaps so it's you know initially it's not so charged and it's not like you know maybe the you know one partner feels like they've done so much this week for you and so you know just like balance it out just get get your hands on each other and start and start doing some massaging because it's it's beautiful and so to be able to receive in that way it's uh it's so much more um potent because you know for me like my partner um, cooks most of the time and she cooks this beautiful food and a lot of times I was you know just kind of like 
eating my food and you know it was delicious and it looked beautiful it was presented in a lovely way and she spent so much time and love preparing it but i i received it in a way that was based on you know the fact that i felt i i deserved that and that's really not a healthy way to come about it and so now i'm i'm shifting into a place of really truly being able to receive in a healthy way and give from my heart in a healthy way because it's it's just so much more like clear out all the other garbage you know like if there's stuff you feel like you've been put upon or you're doing too much and you feel like the other person is not doing enough have that conversation but when it comes time to give and also time to receive do that from a place of love and and really be present with that whatever it is because I, I guarantee you it will be such a rewarding experience whether you're the giver or the receiver so I encourage you to give that a try and you know shake loose of these old patterns and try something different because you'll be you know really healing yourself and if it's in a relationship healing that relationship so um, I hope that was uh, helpful for some and, uh, you know, relevant. So uh, I look forward to talking with you again soon. Namaste.